All right, shalom, shalom, Elder Boys here. Well, it's uh, been very, very busy uh, during the past uh, couple of weeks. I mean, just got a lot of coals in the fire. And uh, today, uh, you know, things are pretty much quiet uh, due to the simple fact that it's going to be raining for the next three days. So, uh, you know, a lot of the projects that I'm doing right now are outside. Uh, we're doing a lean-to. We're doing a, a couple of uh, roofs. Uh, metal roof so we just been primarily be have been busy with that and just getting things settled in on the land but you know i mean i just came back from Auburn sons uh you know over about a week ago and you know <laughs> wisdom uh at that level is just lacking in this day and age especially in israel i mean uh the amount of wisdom that just came forth and it just comes forth on all of these uh, uh, trips, uh, whether it's uh, Passover or Tabernacles uh, or Abba and Sons, is just a blessing to be able to hear and to be able to apply as well because who has the fruit necessary uh, to help you build your family? I mean, uh, uh, me personally, I always, before I listen to someone, uh, I always attempt to look at that individual and say, OK, what has this individual done in their personal lives uh, that confirms what they believe, what they say? And, you know, it's such a blessing to be able to uh, sit down and, and, and double honest to uh, uh, Pastor Mary uh, and uh, his wife, uh, uh, Gina Mary, and, and his whole household. Um, as well as, you know, the elders of RTA, um, uh, Kassab, uh, 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 Navi Baruch, uh, Chinook, uh, uh, Elder Asa, um, uh, uh, Baba Sekou, um, you know, I just go on and on, um, you know, about the, uh, uh, the, the blessings that, uh, uh, these elders are bringing in a rich knowledge and fruit. Uh, and the actions that they're taking in order to build a tribe. And listen, Israel was a tribe. And we were a people that lived together, that grew our own food, that uh, our sons married our daughters. And, and even in uh, the Hebrew movement today, you don't see those kinds of experiences. You don't see those specific kinds of game plans being uh, mapped out. What you see is a whole bunch of church. What you see is a whole bunch of uh, uh, ministry. Uh, what you see is a whole bunch of uh, 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 glory. Uh, you don't see the actual fruit of the book of Genesis coming to life and the lives of the people because see uh, you know these camps and these ministries they're becoming so large that the little person is getting lost in the sauce you know it's interesting i just now got a phone call uh from a brother about to be homeless and uh, you know the first thing i said is where's your pastor where's your elders where are the people at that is going to assist you in your hour of need because see the idea is that you know a real brotherhood you can go to your brother and your sister if you're in need and they're supposed to be there for you. And this is what I'm talking about with RTA and Auburn Sons is that we have a real brotherhood uh, 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 of elders and of brothers that are on the move, uh, that are looking to live a set apart life and that are all living a set apart life. I mean, you know, again, uh, speak with another young patriarch out in the Ozarks and, you know, they got some land and, you know, the young brothers are out there. Uh, and they're hustling and all of them are working. I mean, and I'll tell you, brother, have every one of them able-bodied brothers out there working because building materials, it costs money. Um, them homes are just not going to appear on that land uh, uh, because you said glory to the king. Hallelujah. Uh, and so, uh, you know, get young brothers to work because, see, if a man doesn't work, he doesn't eat. And if a man doesn't provide for his own home, he is worse than an infidel and has denied the faith. So... Uh, you know, it's uh, it's a beautiful thing to be able to uh, say openly that we are in covenant agreement uh, uh, with our brothers, uh, not only in word, but in deed. And under the righteous leadership of pastors like Pastor Mary, 
who has generational experience in building a tribe. Oof. Uh, you know, I mean, I think he's unmatched in all of Israel in this area. I mean, and so when you have a man that is willing to teach you what he has done generationally and his forefathers before him, you know, I mean, it just shuts up all types of contention. It shuts up all types of of uh, of people who may think that you're going to speak against fruit because, hey, you know, everybody said they're big on by their fruit. You shall know them, um, I, you know, and I look at the blessings of Deuteronomy. It talks about this kind of fruit uh, and we're not going to build a nation unless we get back to a patriarchal tribal atmosphere. And you're not going to do that um, uh, playing ministry. You're not going to do that playing church. Um, you're going to do that only by getting under men that has done it themselves. And so, you know, I, I, you know, uh, Pastor May, he did a teaching on brotherhood and he did a teaching on uh, uh, building family. And why, you know, why I can listen to him because he's done it himself. He's done it himself. And let me tell you, man, the wisdom that is coming forth. It is just mind blowing. I've never heard preaching like that in my life. I mean, it is just, it just, it just cuts right to the bone because that's what the truth does. It requires change. It requires conformity to it, not you to, um, uh, uh, it requires you to conform to the truth, not the truth to conform to you. And so this is about righteous order. This is about a righteous assembly. This is about a uh, 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 moving forward in spirit and in truth to get back to uh, 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 being self-sufficient and being debt-free, growing our own food and see Elder Oss is doing an awesome job out there of teaching the brethren how to grow their food, how to be self-sufficient. And it's just, I'm just blown out, just a, a, amazed to see not only uh, is he growing his food, but he's building uh, a, a, a business behind it and, and is getting other brethren to uh, partake in that uh, uh, so that they can all benefit, so that they can all benefit. Uh, you know, brothers attempting to get free. And this is what it's about. It's about a tribal setting where brethren and sisters are free, where the sisters are covered. Because see, at RTA, there's no such thing as a uh, uh, a uh, 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 loose single sisters. It's either you are covered if you're coming uh, into this ministry, uh, 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 into this assembly. Uh, uh, it, it, you're going to be under righteous authority. Uh, we can't have situations where, you know, you hear these horror stories coming out of these camps all the time, all the time. And, it, you know, it's a sad deal to see what's happening to our people and what continues to happen to our people. So, you know, it's a blessing to be able to say that my daughters uh, uh, and my sons uh, uh, are going to be in situations where they are already uh, promised to other young men and other young sisters uh, out in the assembly. This is how it should be, where our sons marry our daughters. You don't see those examples today. You really just don't see those examples today. And it's a sad deal. It really is a sad deal. We need to stop playing church and get about our father's business in terms of building a nation that is independent of this system, uh, that is debt free from this system where we know how to grow our own food. And raise our own cattle, and and build our own businesses, and 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 build our own homes. Uh, you know, see, we have verifiable fruit in these areas. Uh, we're not going to do it again uh, uh, by meeting up and doing all types of gatherings. We got time to do one thing: to do the work of the Father that has been outlined in the book. Abba and Sons was just an awesome experience. And it is just a blessing, again, I say, to be able to sit down 
and get the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that us brethren really do need out there to move forward in spirit and in truth. Wow. I mean, again, when you look out there today, you just don't see many examples, if any, of righteous men leading other men and teaching them how to be be righteous and building tribes. Because, you know, in this day and age, you know, I mean, the truth is is it's just the truth. You will fail as a rugged individual, but you will survive and thrive as a member of a tribal community. And, you know, uh, uh, all of these people out there on their own, I mean, it's just that's just not the book. You know, we were a family. We were a tribe. And uh, <laughs> oh, I tell you, man, you know, hey, get in order, get in order where there's accountability, um, where there's structure where uh, men hold men accountable, where uh, uh, the book uh, of the law comes to life right before our very eyes. It's just a beautiful thing to be in the righteous judgment. It's a beautiful thing to be able to uh, understand, uh, you know, in any situation, um, one shall not rise up against the other, but um, out of the mouth of two or more witnesses, let every word be established. That, Hey, if you have an alt to your brother, go to your brother alone. Uh, if you can't deal with that alt, bring another along. And if not, go before the full assembly. This is the way in which we do things here at RTA. There's no rogue judgments. There's no, um, um, uh, 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 you know, one man deciding everything. There's a group of elders that sit down, uh, uh, and work things out so that everyone can be honored and respected. Everyone can be uh, uh, heard and righteous judgment can go forth. Because, see, that's what we need in the hour that we're living in. And, and this is what we're lacking uh, out there. I sincerely do hope that everybody that is definitely associated with RTA are doers and that are actually uh, making the moves to bend the knee and get under order and get under authority so that you may be beneficiaries of the immense fruit that the elders have to put forward. You have a blessed day. We're going, uh, uh, you know, I, I got a little bit more relaxing to do. You know, there's a, a lot of work that needs to get done uh, uh, inside as well as outside. So uh, we're going to check on with the brothers and I'll see you out there. Shalom.